That was Future World from the album Keeper of the Seven Keys, Part One. The Friday Rock Show, and now we're going to meet two of the members from that band. They are Kai Hansen and Ingo Svichtenberg. Now, yeah. Kai plays the guitar, and Ingo, whose name is desperately hard to pronounce, plays the drums. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to our country. Hi. Uh, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, you, you're the first, bill, the first guys on the bill tomorrow. That's right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Now, everybody knows that the first people on the bill on every festival, every Castle Donington festival, mm -hmm. have got the hardest job of all. Yeah. Yeah, we heard about it. Yeah. Yeah, we know. We know. This. So how tomorrow are you going to make it different <clears throat> so you don't get that sort of animosity type reaction? But and that's your fact. I mean, it's not, it's just, yeah. a, it's, it's a tradition. I mean, uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> how are you going to, how are you going to get over it, lads? I think we're going to go on stage and play. You're going to go on stage and play? Yes. And that's it? I mean, me, as, it. me as a drummer, I, I try to prepare me, to prepare myself as 
building the symbols up that nothing can hit me. You know? yeah. I, tr I try to, but it's not working. Now, that's okay for a drummer, but for a guitarist, unless you stand behind the back line, you've got a problem. No, I, I use it as a baseball bat, the guitar. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody that knows well the stage, though, uh, it hasn't actually played on it, is a fellow by the name of Bruce Dickinson, and you're headlining this year, and it's something you've wanted to do for a long time. Yeah, I mean, the last festival we did in England was, was Reading Festival. And uh, I think I, I just I think somebody threw a Christmas cake on that occasion, which um, like a whole Christmas cake, yeah. which is it must have been a very very difficult thing to hold on to for a whole festival. Where, I mean, either without eating it or without something else nicking it or sitting on it or something. Right. <laughs> but they kept this whole Christmas cake, and up it came and splattered all over. It missed totally. I mean, yeah. very difficult thing to aim. But well, it's very nice to get early Christmas presents. Though, absolutely, it? absolutely. I mean, the thing is, uh, I mean. Um, like they said, the best thing to do is just get on stage and play. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't do that, you risk more than your life is worth. I read something in an article the other day about the first act on the bill at Donington this year. In fact, mm. all the other acts on the bill. You have more or less guaranteed high fidelity. That was the phrase that I read. Yeah. Did you, you, did you get a sound check, guys? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you got a sound check. Sound good? Yes, I'm oh, good. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. yeah. In fact, yeah, we just really had the, the guys from Kiss are sitting in there. Oh. And um, uh, I, I'm not going to take words out of them. I'm very proud of my monitor system that, that like, we, me and Mick, my monitor engineer, built this system up from, like, bits that we've acquired on the road. And we've gone, like, oh, blimey, that one rips your head off. You know, can we buy one of those and stick that one in there? Yeah. And it's kind of grown up over years of touring. And it's nice to hear somebody else uh, who's also been in the business a long time going, that's what I call a monitor system. And they, they were just commenting on how good their sound check was. Because frequently at major festivals, you know it to be true, because you've been bottom of the bill as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. The acts that go on before the ah. major act, that everything is all turned down yeah. from 10 to 1 on the average. That's right. And also you get the... Uh, I think that's pretty naff, because I think it, it makes it harder for the audience to get into it and to maintain their interest throughout the day. Ah. And it's a rip-off of the ticket price, and it reflects badly on the headline act. Like, if you're so scared uh -huh. that you can't take the heat from uh, from the other acts on the bill, then you shouldn't be a headliner. An honest man, gentlemen, what do you say to this? That's yeah, great. great. It is great, great, great because attitude. it's better Cheers. for you and it's better for the people who go. Cheers. We hear there the clinking <laughs> of national Danish beer. <laughs> I have got, I've got the sleeve for the Keeper of the uh, Seven Keys Part 2, but I haven't got the record. When's oh, it coming out? On uh, 5th of September. 5th of yes. September. Yeah. Okay. So I, I can't play anything from that. I can't play a sleeve because it doesn't say a lot, really. At least the maxi, right? What? <laughs> Isn't it the maxi? Do uh, you have the maxi? As I've got this. As, this I've never played before. Called Savage. Um, Come yeah. on, play that. Okay, all right. Go on, Can I play? Give that a listen. Yeah. Then. Go on then. <laughs> Thank you. 
25 an hour, minutes past 10 o'clock. The Friday Rock Show from BBC Radio Nottingham. Checking out what's uh, going to happen tomorrow. Meeting the people who are going to be on stage at the ninth annual Monsters of Rock Festival. There you heard Savage, that was my Halloween. Two members of the band in the studio, Kai Hansen, who plays the guitar, and Ingo Schwichtenberg, who plays the drums, and that's how I got it wrong. Yeah. Sorry, that, was, that was the best one. It was, <laughs> that was the best one. That was, I thought, the wrong one. Give us just a very quick potted history of the band. There are five members in the band. Are you all from Germany? Yeah. Yes, we are. All from the same town. Whereabouts? Hamburg. In Hamburg? Yeah. That's ah, a good rocking town. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You like it? The, the rock scene in Germany is very frenetic. It's very heavy, isn't it? There's a lot of thrash, real hard thrash bands in Germany. Well, in Germany, yeah, in general, yes, but in Hamburg especially, this, uh, it's split up in all directions. Mm -hmm. How long have you been together? Uh, me and me, uh, Ingo and Marcus, our bass player, we've been together since uh, eight years now, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, and how many al how many albums have you actually made? This uh, one we made now recently is our third album, actually. It's just your third. Yeah. What about uh, maxi singles? Yeah, we got. Uh, we started up with our uh, maxi mini LP. Yeah. So yeah. That was the first thing you ever did. Yeah. Then he got signed to the Noise record label in Germany. Yes. Okay. Uh, Stay around, gentlemen, from Halloween. Also in the studio still we have Kai Hansen and Ingo Zwichtenberg of Halloween. We also have some people on the telephone as well who've got some questions for Halloween. Jonathan Kraut, or possibly Kraut it is, from Newton Abbott. Jonathan, you there? Yeah, sure. What's your question for Halloween, my man? Briefly, what's the concept beyond the seven keys, LP? Well, yeah, uh, the concept, I think, the concept uh, consists of two songs uh, split up on two albums. This is... Uh, Keep Off the Seven Keys Part 1 and yeah. Part 2 and uh, on the first album it's the song Halloween and on the second album it's the song Keep Off the Seven Keys of course and the concept is just uh, well basically if you uh, want to change something in, in life and uh, in what's going on in this world uh, you have to change something in yourself maybe and uh, the seven keys are, are meant to close up the seven seas of evil and that's not men. Uh, there are no seven seas uh, that really exist somewhere in the world, but they exist in every man's heart. And this is just where have, you have to find the keys to close up these seas of evil in your own heart. And if everybody does it, then we got a well, we got a good world. Jonathan, you are confused as I am. <laughs> but, uh, was that hard to understand? I mean, yeah, okay. I see what you mean. But the, co the concept, you know I mean. the concept sounds good. The music sounds good as well, and that's the most yeah. important thing. Yes. Can you just say a quick hello to Scott and Wayne? You, right. You've just done it yourself, okay. Jonathan. Thank you very well, much I indeed. Got okay, mate. Carl Black from Surrey. Your question. Hello. This, um, this is Carl Black, and um, hello. I wanted to um, ask kind of win. What are their early days in Germany like? Well, uh, I think we were all born as babies. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. I think so. And, uh, well, the early days in Germany were just, uh, simply, uh, garage band playing, uh, rock and roll in a garage, and, well, that's the...